Hello and welcome to my review of my main PC from CyberPower PC. If you haven't already, please check out the unboxing I did on this PC where I show you everything that came in the package and don't hesitate to comment any question or suggestion below. Let me just get this out of the way since I know people will comment about it. Why didn't I just build my own PC and possibly save a lot of money? Well in short, I don't know how to build a PC and I don't really know everything that goes into choosing the parts and assembling them. I'm actually learning how to do that kind of stuff as we speak. I also decided to buy a pre-built PC because it came with warranty. If something goes wrong with it, I don't have to fix it which is a big deal since I'm at school or doing schoolwork most of the time and I wouldn't have the time for that kind of stuff. I promise that if I decide to get a new PC, I will build it myself. But that's that'll be in like what, 2 or 3 years? I'm planning on keeping this one for a long time. Now I chose all the parts in this build so if you plan on buying one exactly like it, I'll try to put all of the specifications in the description below. Also, if I say that I got this processor or, you know, this thing, but I but I probably made a mistake, just check the description below, and that's going to have all the correct information. Let's start off with the looks. For the case, I chose the NZXT S340 Elite in white because nothing looks as clean as a white and black color scheme. I chose this case because it's very spacious, it has great cable management on the sides, and it has a large window on the whole left side giving you a nice view of the goods inside. Having a window on the side was a huge deal for me and I really don't know why. I guess I just wanted it to look really nice and catch people's attention whenever they saw it. I guess I thought to myself, if I'm gonna spend this much money on a computer, I might as well make it a damn sexy one, and that's what I did. Now let's move on to the goods inside. Inside the case we have an Intel KB Lake i7 7700K processor, which is 7th generation obviously. I believe clocked in at 4.2GHz. We have 8 gigs of 8 data XPG Z1 RAM. I didn't go with more RAM because first of all, 8 gigs is enough for gaming and video editing and second, I plan on making upgrades to this rig as time goes by. So I'll be adding more RAM in the future if I need it. And besides, it's not a very hard process. You notice that's a recurring theme and it's the reason why many parts of this case are completely empty. I'll be adding to it in the future. Let's move on. In the case, we also have one strip of LED lights they're magnetic so I can just pull them off and reposition them whenever whenever and wherever I want as long as the cable reaches and it doesn't block a fan or anything like that. They were actually on the basement of the case but I didn't like the light there so I put them on the side instead. I'm not sure what cooling system is going on here. Like I said, I'm still a noob at this PC stuff but I'll try to have the exact information down below. The motherboard is an ASUS TUF Mark II with nice red LED lights which you can see discreetly when it's on. I do have many ports and slots available so I may be adding stuff to them in the future. On the front there are 4 USB ports, 1 HDMI port, 1 3.5mm headphone jack as well as a microphone jack. On the back there's so much going on that I'll just leave it up to you to check it out. There are enough USB ports to last a lifetime, a couple HDMI ports and some display ports. The only ones being used are for my keyboard, mouse, headset and display. Now the biggest piece of hardware for gaming is the graphics card. Now around the time I purchased this beast, there were a lot of sales for President's Day and you know stuff like that. So although I chose the Nvidia GTX 1060, I got the 1070 for the same price because there was a special going on. I saved quite a bit of money with that deal as well as other deals and discounts. The GTX 1070's performance is amazing, better than anything I've ever tried before. You come to expect that since it's one of the most expensive graphics cards out there. It probably costs more than the PS4 alone. In the huge package where all this came was two keyboards, one that comes standard and one that you have to pay for. The Scorpion K1 was a more premium of the two which I got for like 5 bucks because of specials. There was also a Razer mouse as well as a free mouse, a mouse pad and other goodies as well as the boxes and for stuff like the motherboard, the graphics card, boxes within boxes pretty much. It's good to have those peripherals, but still I decided to stick with my own. Just in case you were wondering, my keyboard is the Razer Black Widow X Chroma Tournament Edition and my mouse is the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition. Chroma, also. The two main games I've been playing on this monster of a PC is Ghost Recon Wildlands and H1Z1. On Ghost Recon, I was able to play at 1080p with most of the settings maxed out and still got frame rates over 60 all the time. H1Z1's numbers were even better with also with Full HD gaming with settings maxed out at around the 100 FPS all the time. The reason why I haven't tried 1440p or 4K is because my monitor only goes up to 1080p which is probably something I should have thought about when buying it. 
I actually made a review of my current monitor recently, so check that video out if you haven't already. From what I've heard, you can play most games on 1440p with high settings on the 1070, but if you want that fluent 4K experience, you'll have to go with the GTX 1080, which might cost $100 or more. I also have one terabyte of storage, but I'll be upgrading that in the future. I might add some a few S SSDs um, when I learn how to do that. The experience I've had with this PC so far is flawless. Knock on wood. Cyberpower PC really did come through with their professional build slash assemble quality. As you can see inside, the cables are nicely tucked away in and they won't interfere with anything. Gaming has been extremely smooth like I said earlier. By the way, tell me in the comments below what games I should play on the PC and I'll try my best to give them a shot. Editing, which was also a main reason why I got the 1070, has been flawless with the Core i7 coming in clutch in the rendering process. Each video I make is around 5 minutes long, I record in full HD at 60fps and the videos render very fast. I'll try to make the jump to 4K in the future. I'm sure this rig can handle it just as well. Basic computer use like browsing the web, watching YouTube videos, Netflix has also been perfect. You can watch videos and movies in 4K without a single hiccup. I often hear that websites like Cyberpower PC and iBuyPower take around 3-4 to four weeks to complete that process from purchasing the PC to receiving it in the mail. For me, I don't know if I'm just lucky or what, but I purchased the PC around the 26th of February of this year and based on reviews I saw, I was expecting it to receive it around the 20th of March, but was I surprised when I find the package on the 8th of March, like barely over a week after buying the PC. I live in California and from what I can tell Cyberpower PC is also in California so that may have played a role in the shipping. When buying it, I was going to pay for 3 day shipping and I'm, I'm glad I didn't because I received it a lot earlier than anticipated. I know a lot of people don't trust these sites for PCs and most people prefer building it themselves. I say, if you know how to build a PC then yeah obviously that's the way to go. But if you're like me, unsure how to build one, still experimenting and planning on upgrading parts in the future, then go ahead and get it from Cyberpower PC. I can't really recommend iBuyPower because I don't have experience with them, but I can and will recommend Cyberpower PC. This is not a sponsored video by the way, I wish it were, hint hint if you're watching Cyberpower. I know this video came out a lot longer than expected, but if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please comment any questions, suggestions, or anything at all down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and thank you all for watching. Have a great day.